Um, this is a request, it's kind of an emergency. Myrna, and I don't remember your username, sorry Myrna, has a wedding coming up in a week. And she asked me for a bridal look, and I haven't done a bridal look yet. Although a couple of my looks can be kind of altered to do bridal looks with, I'm going to show you from beginning to end how to do a bridal look. So as you can see, I have nothing on my face. We'll have my moisturizer on. And the most important thing you want is to look fresh for your wedding day and um, flawless. So we're going to work on flawless today uh, in this video, as well as do an eye look. Um, I used, because Myrna is a little bit older than me, so I'm going to be doing this for women of my age. Um, I have really puffy eyes and under eye circles, so I used um, the um, sample of uh, eye cream that I got from MAC, um, Fast Response, and we'll see how that helps me. If you don't have a good depuffing cream for your eyes, um, you can look back at my um, Gross Beauty Secrets number one video and use some Preparation H. Seriously, it'll work. Also, with the really heavy lids, put some up here. You want to wait until it soaks in before you do anything else, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do for you is to do some concealing. Um, I have some uh, Select Cover Up in, I believe it's uh, NW20. It's the same color as my foundation. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Just a little spot because it goes a long, 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 long way. And I'm going to use a little concealer brush this brush right here and we'll go right under the eyes and right into the dark circle that goes all the way around my eye so right there um, I have a little bit of um, glitter left on my eye from my eye look today I used some Uzi and it's very glittery it's an Urban Decay color so once you get that there, you see the difference, the dark circle's almost gone. I'll put a little more right here. There we go. Going with a light hand, you can always add more, but you can't, it's harder to take away than it is to add more, so. Use a light touch. And only put your concealer where you actually need it. Don't overdo the concealer thinking it's going to be a good under foundation kind of stuff because really it won't. It'll make you look cakey and old. You don't want to look cakey and old. So I'm, I can see when I look in the camera, I can see I still have some darkness right here. And I want to conceal that. So I pat it right into that darkness right there. And go back and forth with my brush and my finger. to kind of get a well blended look. Okay, now any spots you'll want to go over those and just kind of pat and blend and pat and blend. I didn't put any um, primer on because frankly I'm going to take this right off because it's late. So now here's a trick. When you're a little bit older, your face starts to get deeper right here. And as I said in my contouring video, anything you want to make come forward, you lighten it up. Anything you want to make recede away, like go back into your face, you darken it, shadow it. So, if you have these smile lines right here, a good way to help conceal those 
Just take just a little bit of your cover up on the tip of a brush. Smile a little and put a little right inside the crease there. Go right in there and then pat it out. Same with the other side. Okay, now I'm going to go over my redness just a little bit. I have a little bit of rosacea. Um, normally I would use a green cover up or I would use my green primer to cover that up, but I'm in a hurry and I didn't do that. So just a little bit of cover up is all I'm going to do. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to do my foundation and I will be right back. Okay, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> I have my foundation on and I powdered it down. And as you can see, my concealer worked really well. My lines are not as, not as prominent. Let's get it a little closer. My dark circles are not as prominent. Okay, so you've achieved a nice, fresh, clean look. Um, Pardon me. So the next thing we're going to do, let's zoom out a little so I'm not so scary looking. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight, do a little highlighting and a little contouring. So I've showed you the contouring and everything, so I'm not going to show you that again. Go ahead and take a look at my contouring video. But instead of just the white highlighter from my contour pack, I'm going to use my um, mineralized, uh, my light, medium, natural, and shimmer mineralized skin finish. Um, use the shade that best works for you or whatever very light kind of shimmery whatever you use that's shimmery like a you could use a um, highlight a liquid highlighter and just dab it on I'm gonna use a small ish contouring brush see it's a little angled smallish brush and I'm just gonna go into the shimmer part right here now I want a little shimmer for my wedding day, I want just a little shimmer right around the eye and on the cheekbone. So I'm going to go right here and right around. So we'll start right at the top of my angled, angle of my brow, the corner of my brow here, and go right around this way onto the cheekbone. Okay? So we'll do both sides, kind of like a C shape, right there. Now I'm going to go and make a little V right over my brow and do it to a point here and then go right down the bridge of my nose right on the very tip of my chin right there and very lightly right at the bow of my lip right there okay make sure you don't have any brush marks on you sometimes you'll leave a little Um, hairs from your brush. So make sure those are all gone, okay? Um, the next thing you want to do is contour. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. You'll get all nervous and you'll do things like that. So there we go. 